When I was coming up, even when I was in the world, hey man, don't play with God. Hey man, don't, don't do that. Don't you play with God. Nah man, I ain't going to church till I'm ready. I ain't playing, I ain't just joining them. They, were, they didn't dare to just join up with them. They wanted to make sure they were right and they were real and they were ready. They knew that this was no game. We ain't just playing church around here. This is not no social club. This ain't where you just come out and hang out and check in and check out. This thing is real. And so the folks, they, 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 when they saw that, they were afraid to join this man. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing with God. These folks are real. But there's other folks that fully repented. Like, hey, they saved me. Lord, and God saved me, brought them on in. Right. And then the scripture said, as a result of all that was happening, as a result of this, people were, were so afraid. And yet they feared and respected the men of God. So what happened was, as a result, they had so much fear for the men of God and for those that believed and knew that these were certain of God. People brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats because they just wanted Peter to shout. Here, Peter walking. They said, oh, it's shouting. going right there. Lay them down right there. That's, that's how much fear and respect they had. And when Peter shouted, because God saw their respect, when Peter shouted, walked across that body, whatever it was, that they were afflicted with, they were healed. Mm -hmm. So that at least Peter shouted might fall on some of them as he passed by. That's the kind of respect and fear and reverence. They were highly honored and esteemed. And God worked, God healed, God delivered. 